Ankara. Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan will travel Moscow on Thursday. Ankara is stepping up efforts. Persuade Russia return a key Black Sea agreement that would allow shipments of Ukrainian food products, particularly grain, reach world markets. Turkish Foreign Ministry announced on Wednesday that Fidan will hold talks with Russian foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and some senior officials during the two-day visit to discuss bilateral, regional and global developments. The lavrov fidan meeting will be first one-on-one -on -one meeting between two chief diplomats after Turkish. Foreign Minister was appointed to new post in June. Earlier this week, Omer Selik, spokesman for Erdogan's ruling Justice and Development Party, expressed hope that meeting of the two leaders would lead to a new phase in efforts to revive agreement. Turkey and the United Nations brokered an agreement between Kiev and Moscow last year after Russia's invasion of Ukraine halted the country's exports of grains vital to global food security. According to European Union, Ukraine provided half-world sunflower oil and W as in top 10 among largest suppliers of barley, corn and wheat. After withdrawing from agreement that allowed ships loaded with grain and other foodstuffs safely navigate in the Black Sea, Russia began targeting Ukrainian ports and storage facilities in an effort to deter Kiev from using alternative routes for their shipments region. Two cargo ships that have defied the Russian blockade have so far left Ukrainian ports and reached Romanian waters safely. Ankara, however, is pressing for a revival of the original agreement and arguing that solutions outside of Moscow will not be sustainable, leaving western capitals and Kiev as an alternative for Ukrainian shipments, distracts from efforts to create routes. Fidan reiterated his country's stance at a joint press conference with his Ukrainian counterpart, Dmytro Kuleba, in Kiev last week. In addition to grain agreement, interrupted high-level talks between Damascus and Ankara are expected to be main agenda item of Fidan Lavrov meeting. The Kremlin mediated talks between Ankara and Damascus late last year to find a political solution to more than a decade of hostilities between the two capitals. Turkey supported Sunni Syrian opposition groups fighting against Syrian President Bashar Assad, while Damascus' largest its supporters are Russia and Iran. The process stalled after a series meetings between defense and foreign ministers of Turkey. Syria, Russia and Iran, faced with occasional anti-government protests in areas currently under his control. Assad mandated the withdrawal Turkish military forces from his country before proceeding with speeches. Ankara, on the other hand, refuses to withdraw from northern Syrian territory, citing its fight against Syrian Kurdish groups it views as terrorists.